Buddy. Um, this is a little review for the Erkmer and Newby article, Behaviorism, Cognitivism, Constructivism. And uh, I thought the article was really good. I thought they did a good job um, kind of laying out the fact that there are other theories, there's other thoughts. But in the end, these are somewhat some theories that have, you know, spooled up even from Plato and Aristotle, um, which I... I I agree with. I think that's that's true. You know, whether we've called it instructional design or we've called it called it training or we've called it, um, I, I think the thought processes most likely um, have been similar, but we are maybe getting nuanced, more nuanced in our um, discussion and our exposition of these things. So um, the article itself, I thought, did a, a good job of kind of going through those those three elements. Um, the thing that I'm interested to see what you guys thought about is ultimately when describing the practical application of uh, behaviorism versus cognitivism versus constructivism, it seemed like um, they emphasized the importance on, of one-on-one -on -one training in, in cognitivism and constructivism. And, and I wonder how practical that is, uh, because in the you know in higher ed or business world, military, um, you're rarely teaching people one on one, uh, in, you know, outside of apprenticeships, which they actively discussed about apprenticeships when it came to doctors and lawyers, um, but the formation of even their training, um, for the most part, is fairly con conventional in their formative years, let's say. I mean, you know, a doctor or a lawyer is going to seven years of school, um, and then they're going to go through an apprenticeship, um, and that's when you're going to get to that construction of this level, and I'm, I'm actively wondering how many people get to that level. I think they do a good job at the end, though, describing in their discussion piece, I think they do an excellent job kind of discussing that you're going to have different um, elements um, of each throughout the, the paradigm. And, and in my personal circumstances, you know, our training organization has initial training uh, and recurrent training, and that recurrent training happens every six months to every year. And so what I found myself saying was, well, maybe, maybe you know, our initial training is primarily behavioral. Sorry about the dogs in the background. Um, and then maybe the recurrent training would be beginning to get into the cognitivism and the constructivism uh, but the, one of the issues with our particular training field, which is aviation, is the fact that it's still all performance-based. We have performance-based objectives, and if we have performance-based objectives, it makes it difficult for me to think of circumstances in which I can get too far from behavioral because we are explicitly looking for a designated set of behaviors. So it's just something to think about. What I, what I started to think about, though, is how we can actually make materials that... Um, Perhaps, yes, the, the objectives themselves need to be behaviorist in, in, a, in a sort of way, but perhaps in the support, performance support materials, whether that's syllabi or checklists or handouts, maybe we can emphasize um, some of that cognitive uh, side because even though you're making one book, the book and the individual person, that is a unique experience. So I thought that was maybe a simple way. Um, to do that. Um, the last thing is that they have this chart on the very last page of the article, this uh, continuum, and I've actually attached it in the, the Twitter comment below and, and in this YouTube, um, but it's a really interesting chart because I'm wondering what the individual little nuggets are. It's, um, it's figure one, and those strategies, are those individual modules, I wonder, or those uh, individual um, prescriptive elements of the instruction. Just interested in what your thoughts are. So um, that's it for me, and um, I'll probably have some other of these videos for all the other things we're going to be reading. All right, see ya.